ready uh, in due course to defeat Jeremy Corbyn. Just very, very quick stuff on your, yeah. on, your, on your personal lifestyle. What do you do to relax? What do you do to switch off? I don't know. Uh, um, I, I, I like to... Uh, um, don't just sit there saying nothing. Say something. You, you paint, like you make things. Paint. Um, oh, I make things. Uh, say something, you vase of wank. Don't just sit there saying nothing. Uh, I have a thing where I make models of... Sheep, cars, I mean, fried eggs. I, um, I mean, when I was in like, well, Mary... Oh, like, shut up, I've got it, I've got it. Buses, I mean, say buses, right now, say buses. Buses. You make models of buses. I make models of buses. No, you don't. That's so do, stupid. Do, you don't make models of buses. So you, what I do, um, no, what I do make models of buses, what I, I make is... Um, you get, I get tables, I get, laptops, cushions, I, so f crates, w wooden uh, crates. Wooden crates. Yeah. Right? Yes, Hello that's I, it. Old wooden crates and, uh, um, and you paint them. And I paint them. I suppose it's a, wine, it's a box that's been used to contain two, two wine bottles, right? No, don't right. mention Hello wine, you massive <laughs> fart. Possible. For instance, uh, as we come GAT 24 paragraph 5B. GAT 24 paragraph 5B that both sides agree to a standstill. How would you handle uh, paragraph 5C? Um, Don't panic, I've got this, I've got this. I would, res I would confide entirely in paragraph 5B. I would confide entirely in paragraph 5B because that is. But how would you get round what's in 5C? I'm nearly there, just say that bullshit um, answer again. I would confide entirely in paragraph 5B, which is you know what's enough in 5C? for our purposes. Of course you know what's in 5C. Do you think you'd be running for leader of I this would, country and not know everything that was in Article 24 of the General Agreement on uh, Tariffs and Trade? Tell him! No. Oh, you stupid sausage roll! What it was about, you have to be prepared to walk away if you absolutely have to. Uh, yeah, you're losing them. Just get back to, this country is great, we can do it, can't we? Blah, blah, blah. great country! We can do it, can't we? Yes, we certainly can. Right, now hit them with the real benefits of Brexit. Do it now. I tell you, the planes will fly. Whatever deal we do. Planes will fly? What the f*** are you talking about? And there will be clean drinking water, my friend. No, 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 you drunk blobfish. I'm talking about the things that we gain from being out of Europe, not the basic things we already have. And there will be adequate supplies of glucose and milk solids and whey to make the Mars bars that we need. Mars bars? You do realise this is on television, don't you? I'm just so glad I got that kipper off you before you went out there. Uh, I want you to consider. Where's the kipper? Got? Have you, did you take that kipper again? Are you out there with that kipper? You better not have that kipper, you bumbling pop. Kipper. Each kipper must be accompanied by a, a plastic ice pillow. It's not an EU rule, it's a UK government rule. Please put the kipper down. Pointless, expensive, environmentally damaging and necessary, because you know what, genius? Warm fish goes off. And who are these people clapping food poisoning? What is going, can, can anyone hear me? What is going on? Am I in a dream or something? What the fuck is going on? Of a program to recruit 20,000 more police officers and- Ask them if they're new recruits, pretend you don't know. Are you guys new recruits? Fantastic. What right, back doing? to the speech. You. And you're all the, they're all, they're, everyone is learning the caution. Back to the speech. Do you know the caution? Back to the speech. You know what you have to say when you, when you, when you, when you... Stop spluttering like a posh motorboat and get back to the speech. You do not have to say anything. I wish you didn't have to say anything. Is that right? Who cares? But anything you s Oh God, this could take hours. No, but if you fail to mention something... <laughs> Like how many children you've got. Which you later rely on. Has anyone behind you been issued with a gun? Hang on, let's get this right. Why? What purpose is this serving, other than making two rows of police cadets wish they joined the army? Do you remember it? Yes, they can remember it. They're in the police force, you thick egg. They all know it. Right, we'll ask one of them. Which you relate which you later Or just keep persisting with this really awkward moment, you know, whatever works for you. Maybe taken into account. Oh for God, please stop now. Anyway, you get the gist. Oh thank God. Can you make a promise today to the British public that you will not go back to Brussels and ask for another delay to Brexit? Yes. And sorry. I can. 
Let her finish the question. This is a good one. You can use this question to provide a, a, a measured and diplomatic response, you know, like a prime minister does. I'd rather be dead in a ditch. <coughs> OK, this is over. Uh, we're going to go to Plan B. Susan, can you hear me? Plan B, please do your thing. You're right. Oh, that's right. I'm so, I'm so sorry. OK, I just I think I, I think that's a, that's a, that is a signal for me actively to wind up. Okay, I, I, time and time again. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn has said he wants a, a vote. Why are you still talking? I activated Susan. In every room and almost every object. Your monitor, your mattress will monitor your nightmares, your fridge will beep for more cheese. What, what are you saying? What, what are these words that you're saying right now? Your front door will sweep wide the moment you approach like some silent butler. Doors don't open like butlers, doors are opened by butler. What, what are you even talking about? Who approved this load of old fudge? Just get back to AI. AI. What will it mean? What will it mean? We just don't know yet. Helpful robots washing and caring for an aging Robots washing what? What robot washing what? Pink-eyed terminators sent back from the future to cull the human race. Can they start with you? I mean, what the f? What will synthetic biology stand for? We just don't know yet. Restoring our livers and our eyes. Livers and eyes. It's like some fantastic hangover cure. How drunk have you been that you've needed new eyes in the morning? Why are you even saying these things? You're at the UN! Please just say something sensible and statesmanlike. Or will it bring terrifying limbless chickens? <laughs> Any scientific advance is punished by... Oh no, 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 please don't say it. The gods. Oh sh here we go. I read classics one afternoon in 1983, so here's 15 minutes of wank about Agamemnon. When Prometheus brought fire to mankind. Oh man, can we go back to limbless chickens? In a tube of fennel, as you may remember, with his brother Epimetheus. Oh yes, we all remember that, the fire in a tube of f***ing fennel. Yes, I was reading it only yesterday in my library, you absolute horse fart. By chaining him to a Tartarian crag. Oh, enough with this blundering toffee. You are representing all of us up there and you're coming across like a posh, coked up narwhal. His liver was pecked out by an eagle. An eagle. Oh, wait a minute. And this went on forever. I explicitly said not to mention it tonight. A bit like the experience of... Don't you dare say... Brexit. Right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going back to my hotel room to be f***ing washed by a robot. Okay, now, if you can manage it, open the door and walk through. Cue the overly friendly Cockney man. Hey, Boris, you all right? I'm good, how are you? He's doing the Lambeth walk. Who gives a sh and how do you typically start your day? Uh, you walk the dog. It shows you're human. I tend to get up pretty early and then I... Walk the dog. Go down and uh, take the dog for a walk and... For half an hour, it's just me and the dog. And I love that. I love that connection that we have. Dog does his business and so on and so forth. That's, that's, that's my... 22 seconds into your first election broadcast and you've already got people picturing dog shit. Congratulations. Now, I know you're a very busy man, but when, did, when was the last time you cooked and, and what did you make? Quick note to Dick Van Dyke, could you be less awful, please? You sound as if you're drunkenly reading something that you've scribbled on your foot. Uh, get Brexit done. Don't say oven ready, people hate it. Which is ready to go, oven ready, slam it in the microwave. No, I said people hate it. Decades of negotiations with the European Union is not the same as heating through a pie. Take the country forward. Schools, hospitals, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and it's widely known now that you cut 21,000 police, so it's probably best not to mention the figure of 20,000 uh, police. Oh, you soppy melon. Let's get Brexit done. OK, and last meaningless phrase, unleash the potential. And unleash the potential. And cue the silly air punch and smug Etonian grin. And leave. See you later. And cue the fake Londoner saying, thank you, Boris. Cue the fake Londoner. Cue the Cockney. Where's the Cockney? Oh, my God. Um, 
Thanks very much, Mr. Prime Minister. I'll see you later then, Carl Blimey. Shit. There will be no tariffs and there will be no checks. The, we're, the we're advantage talking, of we're talking about the paperwork, is, which is going to affect Northern Ireland the businesses advantage both of, ways. The advantage of, there are, annex, there a period. annex two and the yes, number is uh, 300 uh, as a, declarations yes. and regulations applying to Northern Ireland and yes. not to no, the rest Andrew, of us. You're missing the point. You're missing no, the point. I'm not. Well, you're 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 it's in your annex. You're, you're, automatically. You're, 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 let me ask you about Let me ask you about that point. Let me ask you about the overarching financial problem. The reason for doing that is so that we solve the problem. I'm sorry, the reason for doing that is so that we solve the problem. I'm sorry, so that we solve the problem. I'm sorry, you just keep going on and on and on. You're chuntery. I need to ask you about the money. If you look at our budget, at our manifesto, it is fully costed. And I must draw. Let me look at. Let me look. What we, are, what, we are, what, we are, what we are, what we are, what we are, what we are also they may having, be we're also like having is a general inquiry the reason they into, may be into prejudice of all kinds yeah. within the okay. Conservative Party. Well, and I must say, let, I let think me, there is a very sharp distinction let me between talk about prejudice what we're doing kind, and what Labour has let me, failed let me to talk do about in clamping down on anti-Semitism. Yes, there, 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 there was a prom when prominent, when prominent, con there was a prominent Conservative, but you give me an answer. The Conservative Party's decision to change its online Twitter feed to fact checking UK um, as an example. Of right, this is fine because you come across as a feckless, drunken Edwardian bishop anyway, so you can pretend that you don't know anything about this. You know, I'm afraid that the... Uh, Say the Twitter sphere is not really in my province or something equally flatulent. Twitter sphere is not really my... Uh, my province, uh, but I what, I what I can say is that what you uh, can say is nothing because you don't know anything. Always say you were informed. I'm informed that. Um. 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 The, the, um. Um. Uh, 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 what I. Well, I, you know, I'm oh God! Just go back to the Twitter sphere not being in your province. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I haven't followed this this Twitter stuff with perhaps the attention that that you would like, Rowena. Um, oh, I wish someone would shove uh, the Twitter sphere up your province. Um, I will, I will, I will say that you will find out later and get back to her. I will apprise myself of the of the detail of this, but you know, when it comes to um, when it comes to what? Oh God! Look, please. I, I, I've never said uh, this to you before, okay? But can you please stop for a moment and uh, think about what you're going to say? As I say, when it comes to trust in politics, <sighs> and uh, and oh, please uh, don't do this. Please don't go up another creek. I have uh, run out of paddles for you. And the facts of this election. This answer is already turning into a bath of baked beans, OK? You're going to have to abandon it and just rattle off some point-scoring guff about Jeremy Corbyn. It's the only way of getting this room full of Tory badgers back on your side. There, what we need to know... What is Jeremy Corbyn's position on Brexit? There is one giant fact. What is Jeremy Corbyn's position on Brexit? There is one... What is Jeremy Corbyn's position? Just say it. It looks like the, the hunting of the, of the snark. The hunting of the shitting snark? Or, or, the, or the, the quest for the answer to Fermat's last theorem. Or... Oh, please just say what I asked you to say. Why must you babble this posh, meandering syrup that only ever appeals to people who live in castles and shoot peacocks? The riddle of the Sphinx or the Bermuda Triangle. What is Jeremy Corbyn's position on Brexit? Please say it now before I eat my own arms. Uh, we still... The, 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 the... Say it now, you potty horse! We wish to discover the one hard crouton of fact. Crouton of fact? That we search for in the great minestrone of, of Labour's policy. What will it take for you to say the thing that I asked you to say? Money? I've got money. I will give you money if you say the thing that I asked you to say. What is the position of the leader of the Labour Party? Oh, my God, we're there. Right, now, no more stupid similes, otherwise I'm going to get up and I'm going to leave and you're going to have to do the rest of this by yourself. Like Shergar. Uh, this... And there it is. I'm out.
sorry. If you need me, I'll be in the bar trying to work out Fermat's last theorem or something a little bit more tricky, like how on God's toast did you become leader of the country? Of the fight. Uh, against climate change. And I'm, I'm really uh, thrilled uh, by the game-changing announcement. Yes, you look at Making sure that our homes uh, stop emitting such prodigious quantities of, of CO2. Well, you've got six homes, so you've got more work to do than the rest of us, so you better get cracking, mate. The richest nations coming together. Try an invisible gavel at this point. And exceeding. Very good, very powerful. Uh, it's very important to go back to the, uh, the original words of of President Biden. Yes, by all means, say anything that you didn't think of. I'm down with that. It's vital for all of us uh, uh, to show... That we can uh, finish a sentence? What? That this is not all about uh, some expensive, uh, politically correct... Oh, my God. Um, what? what? A green act of... Uh, of, uh, of, of oh, uh, shit. He's going off script. Uh, he, he could literally uh, say anything right now. Um, uh, someone stop him. Staple his lips uh, together. Uh, of bunny hugging. Blah! Uh, or, 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 or however you want to put it. No one has said that ever. There's nothing wrong with bunny hugging, but I, you, you, you know what I'm driving at. No one knows what you're driving at, you potty horse, except me. Because I'm the only one who has to live in that decomposing fruit bowl you call a brain every day. And I think the president was absolutely right uh, to, to stress that. And The president didn't say anything about bunny hugging, principally because the president doesn't sound like a pissed up retired colonel from the 1950s. I, I want to leave you with the thought that... Uh, Please, no more thoughts. Uh, the UK has been able to cut our own CO2 emissions by about 42%. Try another invisible gavel. And uh, we've seen our economy... No, that was more like punching an invisible bunny, but never mind. ...by 73%. You can do both uh, at once. Uh, you can have your cake and eat it. Cake, have, eat uh, is my message. That's not all the words I said. And let's do it together. Thank you very much. Right, what was that? What was that? Just that bunny hugging? I mean, what, why do you um, do this to yourself? Why do you do... No one's going to remember anything you just said right now, apart from the bunny hugging. No, let's finish, make my point. Uh, no, no, listen, listen to um, that, right? OK? Twitter's going to go mad for it now, and lots of annoying comedians are going to parody it, because, frankly, they've got nothing better to do. Hello, Alex. Oh, don't like the look of this. Uh, try to make the Prime Minister stop talking before he humiliates himself and embarrasses the world. Your time starts when he opens his mouth. I think that is what uh, the people of, the, uh, of our countries now want us to... To be sure that we're beating the pandemic together. Uh, very good, just end it there. Discussing how we'll never have a repeat of what we've seen. Yep, OK, good um, point, you can stop now but also that we're building back better. No one knows what yeah. that means, but... And, the... and building back greener. Great. And now stop. And building back fairer. Oh, God, look, I need the points this week. Please stop. And building back more... Shut up! Equal. And... Building back equal is not a sentence. Nothing has been a sentence so far. Uh, how shall I? More, in, in, in a more gender-neutral and... Oh, no. Perhaps like a more feminine way. How about that? Oh, you absolute burp. I'm not going to get anything for that, am I? I mean, what kind of task was that anyway? I thought I'd be playing golf with Satsumas or something. I didn't really sign up. Thank you. Whatever. The room next door. ...of this country to unite and level up across the whole... Uh, that's why we are going to... Uh, address the cost of our uh, nuclear power. Address the, the cost of our... Of our, uh, of our nuclear power. Why are you suddenly looking at the speech like it's been written in hieroglyphics with a sausage? Uh, for the, for the, for the... Can you just put the papers down? You look like a baby trying to read a mortgage application. Just move on to uh, Crossrail. And, uh, we are doing the beaching reversals. Um, uh, putting in lines that were taken out in the last century. Putting in lines that uh, were, were taken out, sadly, in the... Uh, in the last century. Uh, in the 19... In the last century! Uh, in the, in, in, uh, earlier this century. No, the last century! Uh, in the last century. You remember the last century, don't you, Prime Minister? It was around about the time that this speech began. Uh... What's wrong? Where, where are you? Don't just stand there like a busted football mascot filled with old straw. Say something! Uh... No, I was thinking more in the area of actual words.
Forgive me. Okay, that's a start. Now say something else. Forgive me. No, that's not something else. Forgive me. No, that's still not something else. That, that's the opposite of something else. Ah. Uh... I've got it, I've got it. Page 14. People have confidence to stay nearer in the place where they grew up. People will have the confidence to stay nearer. And you need people to staff your businesses. Uh, the people uh, that uh, you all need to... Uh, to, uh, to, to... Staff your businesses! To, to staff your businesses. Try to focus, you clueless bundle of horsehair. Your speech is just degenerating into a series of burps and burbles. You sound like a retired bishop drowning in a barrel of wine. Yesterday I went... Uh, as as we all must. Don't, don't bring this uh, up, please. Um, no one uh, will laugh. No one ever laughs. To to Peppa Pig World. Oh, for f- f- world. Hands up, anyone who's been to Peppa Pig World? Obviously, no one. Not enough. <laughs> oh my God, this is so awkward. I can't unbend my arms. Peppa Pig World is is very much my kind of place. Why are they selling off the NHS there too? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Remember, it's time to be humble. And just to be on the safe side, I've written down the definition of humble and emailed it to you under the subject heading, you have well and truly f***ed everything up. So I want to say to the millions of people who voted for us in 2019. Sorry for partying every single Friday whilst telling us at the same time that we couldn't sit on a park bench with our nan or... And the reason I have fought so hard in the last few days to continue... Duty, obligation, blah, blah, blah. But Because I felt it was my job, my duty, my obligation... My God. And of course, I'm immensely proud of the achievements of this government. Well, we haven't got time to list them all, OK? So just, um, no, sorry, we do have seven seconds. Please go ahead. From getting Brexit done. Mm, it's not done. It's a mountain of burning tyres that threatens the Good Friday Agreement. But, you know, keep going because uh, who cares, really? To settling our relations uh, with the continent. Relations with the continent were fine before you came along. Now, when Europeans think of the United Kingdom, they think of that time when you were stuck on a zip wire like a bumbling egg with a union jack up your ass. Getting us all through the pandemic. 180,000 people died, but yes, let's claim it as a triumph. Why not? I mean, literally nothing you say matters anymore, so... Delivering the fastest vaccine rollout in Europe. That vaccine rollout had nothing to do with you. Nothing at all. It's like taking credit for bees or the moon. The fastest exit from lockdown. Yes, that's why we had to go into a second lockdown. And a third, you clod-hopping fart pipe. And to you, the British public. I want you to know how sorry I am. I know that there will be many people who are... No, I want you to know how sorry I am. And I want you to know how sad I am. No, sorry. Sorry. S-O-R-R-Y. I want to thank Carrie. Never mind wallpaper Wendy. Just say sorry, okay? Dig right down into that poisonous soul of yours and try to find one apology. You know, imagine trying to retrieve a diamond ring from a blocked toilet. Even if things can sometimes... Wait, no. Don't wrap this up. You haven't said sorry for anything yet. Seem dark now. Please say sorry just once. Our future together is shit. Thank you all very much.